Getting Sibisola Ayuade for a short interview has not been easy. Sibisola is member steering committee of the Tinubu Support Group, TSG, at the national level and national coordinator on the North Senatorial Zone of TSG. Sibi is also the national coordinator of Shiwaju Change Movement, ACM, founded in 2015. This Ashiwaju Change Movement, ACM, has been celebrating Bola Ahmed Tinubu as an icon who has shaped Nigeria's emerging democracy by making available, valuable, informative, and accessible series of interviews, documentaries, and data with the aim of sharing the histories, stories, and experiences of Nigeria's most significant political icon in recent times. According to Simisola, ACM is about a passion for change. ACM is for a better tomorrow. ACM shall promote attitudinal change that would encourage citizens to become progressive, detribalized, and forward-looking, as demonstrated by Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So, Clearview TV wants to know from Simisola if Ashwaju change movement will now be put aside with the emergence of Tinubu support group. TSG. It is from actual change men that I do my strength, even for this Tinubu support group. Actual change men remains and it will continue to be because it cut across all the states in Nigeria and we've, we've done so well and we're still doing so well. Simisola set up ACM in 2015 when Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu was not nursing presidential ambition at all. Because of this former Lagos governor's love for President Buhari, Simi took a trip to Kebi State to visit the ailing 90-year-old woman, Hajia Meitali Tara, who waited hours for Buhari to come to Brennan Kebi for his rally. Mama later donated one million naira of her life savings for Buhari's campaign. Simi was with this woman in Koko Town with her Ashwaju Change Movement team, all for Tinubu. Now the question. What is the big deal? Even with what Simi just did in a career Koko, where she said that first and foremost, Tinobu is a maker of men. What else? Why this love for Jagaban? Yes, my love for Jagaban, Ashwaju, all I met Tinobu, is so much because he is a leader I respect so much. He is a father, he is a, a successful businessman, so he has done so much. For him to have done so much for the emergence of Mr. President in 2015, it was one of the things that gave me the drive to start, you know, to start this crusade of actual duty movement since 2015, immediately after that emergence. He surprised me, it was a big deal to me. It may not be a big deal to anybody. Some people may not say anything. I saw a lot of things to it. That was how we started promoting that time. We visited many states, including Kirby State, where we visited the late Mama Metali that gave one million to the campaign of Mr. President. Then, when this woman was sick, there was no one to check on, on her. But I took it upon myself to visit her with 10 members of my group. We visited her, we gave what we could give, and we, we, we brought the matter, you know, to the no on Kebi Radio. And the government of Kebi, you know, responded and they took care of, of her very well in the name of Tinubu. And I want to give, give that to the governor of Kebi State. I thank them. Is Sibisola not worried about the proliferation of Tinubu groups everywhere, many of them? I think I love that, and I believe you me, many groups are still coming. They are, the groups are enormous. They are so much. We are managing all the group, and thank, thank God he has said in the recent time that all these groups will come on board, they will come under one umbrella, and they will begin to function for the campaign, of which he has mentioned Honorable Abdul Mumini to be the Director General. So, and uh, another program is coming um, very soon, that will really bring all the group members together. Women in Nigeria are known to be good mobilizers, but may be relegated when it's time for appointments. 
Will Tinobu engage women if elected president? Any idea? It's not a man that you will work for that he will forget you. If he doesn't, how will a politician of that, an astute politician of that, you know, of that um, class now allow his wife to become a politician again? You can see his wife in the, in the, in the Senate. A distinguished Senator Oluremi Tinubu, and they are happy together. And there are many women Baba has brought on board in the political space. We have Auntie Adeyoke Adifulure, and we have a sister Abike Dabiri, who is handling the diaspora matters and has been in the House of Rep for like three you know, consecutive times. So these are women in the school of thought of Tinubu and many others that I cannot be mentioned on here. He, he, he believes so well in women, he respects women, and he believes in women contribution in the political space. We hear in certain quarters that Tinubu may not be able to cope as a result of what they refer to as failing health. That's one. And why this confidence that he will rule Nigeria well? If we want to look at it, when has Tinubu started uh, flying abroad? to check his health, of which many of our, you know, our elderly ones have been doing for many years. I've not heard that until recent time, that we hear that Tinubu has gone for, for health check, this and that. So that is to say, say, to say that he has been fit, he has been okay. He has been very, very okay. Look at him eh, at the Aso Villa when he visited him a few days ago. Does he look sick? Does he look like somebody who is not fit? Ajuaju Bola Ahmed is looking very, very fit, standing on his feet. And, you know, the way you, you move, the way you do things, if you look at body language of somebody, you'll be able to, you know, to decode whether somebody, whether this person is really sick or not. Ajuaju Bola Ahmed is very, very okay. And I'm saying it emphatically that he's fit for this job. I'm so confident in Ajuaju Bola Ahmed that he can handle Nigeria very, very well. Why? Looking at the time that he was governor of Lagos. Look at the work he did in Lagos. I live, I grew up in Lagos. I can tell much story about Lagos. I knew, and, you know, I know the state, Lagos state was uh, where it was before, and I know where it is now. Ashwaju did so well in Lagos. This was the only governor that worked for four years without federal allocation. And he did it well. Without allocation, without budget, he took Lagos to the level it is today. If Lagos State can be fifth richest state in Africa today, Nigeria will be number 10 richest nation in the whole world, going by what Ashwajibala I and mean, Tinubu will do. Because I believe in his brain. I believe in his wisdom. I believe in, I believe in his capacity. I believe in his empowerment. I believe in the strength that is embedded in him. So he still have a lot that is yet, you know, to, to bring out in him.